Okay, so we have eight seasons, eight new characters. Um, how are all the new ones uh, getting along here? Um, well, we welcome them. I mean, it's a whole new vibe because we have a lot of new characters and we've tried to, I mean, I'm pretty new compared to everyone else on the show, so I'm trying to make them feel at home and make them feel comfortable and, and they're all really enthusiastic and really fun and nice, so um, that'll be great. Do you remember your first day? Do you feel the pain of it? Um, yeah, because it's nerve-wracking, especially a lot of them are completely new. They've never been on a set before. They've never done anything, so they're definitely nervous, and I mean, the only thing we can do is support them and tell them they're doing a good job and help them out and give them some advice. Great. Um, let's talk about your character this season. What's happening for you? What's new? Uh, well, Mia goes through a bit of a transformation. It's something that we've never seen her do before. She's usually just the down-to-earth kind of struggling mom who's trying to make ends meet, but this year... Um, something happens and she has another opportunity and she delves right into it and um, I guess we'll see what happens after that. Now there's been deep room with Delmar? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a new love interest mm -hmm. to say the least, but that's all I can say. <laughs> but juicy plot lines. We will see some, some good stuff in yeah. season 8. Yeah, season 8 is going to be completely different for Mia and she goes through a lot and it's, it's edgy. Nice. Um, and what's happening today? What are you shooting today? Today we are shooting the finale of the episode. Um, we're in the cafeteria and the conflict, what, what she did, what Mia did, the bad thing that she did, comes out and she's confronted with it and she has to live with what, um, the, what happened afterwards, which is that she loses her friends. Um, and let's talk about these kind of shows that are quite dramatic in teenagers' lives. Gossip Girl, Nana Tuna, and of course Degrassi. Um, so how do you feel that people are tuning in to watch what teens are doing. You know, it's no longer, we don't really care about what older people are doing now. So what does it feel like to be like must watch TV? Um, well, there, there's a lot of shows. There's, like you said, there's Gossip Girl, there's, there's 90210 that's coming up soon. But Degrassi is kind of, I mean, we deal with issues that are actually in schools and, and some that are a little far-fetched. Like, it, we, we obviously push the envelope as much as we can, which is what we're known for. But, um, the whole point is to to get that across, and and I mean, there's so many kids in school who want to cater to that audience. Um, and you know, people like Shanae and Lauren, they're doing other things. Hopefully, we'll see them again. Um, but was it kind of is it sad to not see them in the hallways anymore? Yeah, it's a different vibe. Um, a lot of the cast graduated, and a lot of people are are doing other things, which is great because I mean, it reflects on the show. We're getting we're making actors that are doing other things, and we're being we're becoming successful in other places, countries, and projects, which is great. We're all really really happy for them, and hopefully, we'll see them come back. Um, but it's definitely diff it's definitely different, and not seeing them here, I mean, you miss everybody because you, you you make the ties. But yeah, they become family, right? Yeah. Um, and kind of an anomaly, eight seasons that doesn't really happen in TV anymore. No. So how does it feel to be part of Degrassi? Like, what do you think the secret of its success is? The secret is catering to our audience, making everyone happy, and dealing with issues that people want to watch and listen to, and and just being true to the topics.